and this is a Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve the given differential equation so let's get going problem solve e power minus 2 into square root of x by square root of x minus y by square root of y sorry square root of x into dx by dy equals to y solution given differential equation e power minus 2 root x by root x minus y by square root of x into dx by dy equals to 1. Comes to the given equation as equation number 1. So you can write this as e power minus 2 root x by square root of x minus y by square root of x into dx equals to take this dy to RHS. You so will get 1 into dy equals to dy. Right. Now we are going to reduce the given equation to linear equation in y form. Now, take this dx to RHS. We we'll get e power minus 2 root x by root x minus y by square root of x equals to d by by d. You can write the above equation as d y by d x equals to e power minus 2 root x by root x minus y by root x. Right. Now, bring this term to LHS, you will get d y by d x minus y by square root of x becomes y by square root of x equals to e power minus 2 root x by root x. Right. So now this is linear in y. Right. So we have reduced the given equation to standard form of linear equation in y. We know that the standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to cube. Right. See here the quotient of dy by dx is 1. Here also the quotient of dy by dx is 1. And we have P, that is 1 by square root of x into y equals to q where p equals to 1 by square root of x and q equals to e power minus 2 root x by root x. Here p and q are the functions of x, right? We have p equals to 1 by square root of x. And q equals to e power minus 2 root x by root x. Now we need to find the integrating factor or integration factor. Integrating factor is given by if equals to e power integral p dx. Integral p dx. Right. Integrating factor of the given problem. We'll use this formula to find the integrating factor of the given problem. Equals to e power integral for p equals to 1 by square root of x into dx. We know that since integral 1 by square root of x into dx equals to 2 root x. Right. So this equals to e power 2 root x. So we have integrating factor e power 2 root x. Fine. Now let's find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution
of linear equation in y, that is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. I will use this formula to find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is given by y times integrating factor e for 2 root x equals to integral q for q equals to e power minus 2 root x by root x into integrating factor e power 2 root x into dx plus c is equals to integral e power minus 2 root x into e power 2 root x by root x into dx plus c. This is equals to integral. So if you notice you are having e power minus 2 root x into e power 2 root x. Right. So here let's add the powers. Then we'll get e power minus 2 root x plus 2 root x by the denominator remains the same root x into dx plus c which is equal to integral e power minus 2 root x plus 2 root x is 0 right by root x into dx plus c since we know that e power 0 equals to 1 then this becomes 1 by square root of x into dx plus it equal constant c. Now we have y into e power 2 root x equals to integral 1 by square root of x into dx plus c. Then y into e power 2 root x equals to Integral 1 by square root of x into dx is 2 root x plus integral constant c. Therefore, y into e power 2 root x equals to 2 root x plus c is the required general solution. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.